Good day ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 12th episode of Exotic Armory. Today's weapon in the spotlight, the Huckleberry. Let's get over the perks. Ride the bull, increase rate of fire, and recoil by holding down a trigger. Kills with this weapon, read out a portion of the magazine. We also have Fluter Barrel, Ricochet Rounds, Rampage, and Short Action Stock. The Huckleberry is a 750 RPM SMG. It has quite good range, medium stability, very good handling, but very poor reload speed. If you do not have the catalyst, upon a kill, this weapon gets 15 rounds back into the magazine. With the catalyst, it will reload the full magazine. This weapon can be obtained from any exotic loot source, exotic engrams, prime engrams, nightfalls. Uh, the catalyst can be obtained from heroic adventures. Alright, first we're gonna go into a strike, then we're gonna go into the crucible. If you're not the strike kind of guy, I will put a timestamp on the screen right now. And without further ado, let's get into the strike. All right, here we go, the arms dealer. Oh, I haven't done this strike in a long while. All right, let's see what the Huckleberry can do. So I don't know whether I actually said that at the start, but um, in Shadow Keep, this weapon's perks have been, uh, or the Rampage perk has been uh, reduced in effectiveness. However, on the Huckleberry, the Rampage perk is actually exactly the same as beforehand. So this weapon is now a lot better in PvE. Not because they buffed it, but because they nerfed everything else. So practically the way you can look at Rampage, now it does 10, 20, 30 uh, percent extra damage upon kills, upon the Rampage decks. However, the Huckleberry still has the old numbers of 20, 40, 60. I mean, it's a little bit more depending on the uh, thing that you have, but that is about the gist of it. And as you can see, if you got the catalyst, never have to reload, practically. It mows through people. And if you hold down the trigger, your rate of fire will increase. Alright, let me pick up the solar fuel cell, considering nobody else is going to do it. There we go. Let's uh, dunk it. And then get rid of all these hounds. So, Huckleberry is uh, in this meta the trash killer of the game. If you need anything gone, Huckleberry is your man. It is just such a nice MG. It actually has more. Um, Rounds in the magazine than the average SMG, depending on the archetype, of course. And I am going to die if I am not careful. Oh, uh, bye bye. So, yeah, Huckleberry, it is the ultimate trash killer right now. You can just uh, get the rampage stacks up, keep the ammo up. It is very easy. Plus, it actually does quite a bit of damage. You cannot use a sparrow just yet. The uh, range on the weapon can be a little bit problematic, but in most strikes you can stay within range, so it shouldn't really be a problem. You have to be a bit more aggressive with the weapon, of course. However, that should not be a problem, as the perks really synergize well with uh, being aggressive. Alright, let's just pass through everyone here. Really, uh, have to fight these guys. Plus, I'm kind of lazy, so beep beep. <laughs> oh, I miss Kate. They need to bring Kate back. Make it Kate Seven. Probably not gonna happen, but oh well, you can dream. I have a dream. <laughs> All right, Huckleberry. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think the way that I would describe this weapon, it would be the old Western Rage. Uh, Rampage, I mean. Because this weapon, I mean, it literally shreds through everything. Main thing you want to do is, uh, if you get higher health guys against you, just uh, focus on the low health guys, get your Rampage up. 
Maybe get the rate of fire up by holding down the trigger. And I am dead. I have no clue how. Oh, and teammates joined in the area, so we're gonna have a little bit more time watching this guy. Not actually hitting anything. Oh no, he's shooting over the uh, tank. I need to uh, get the uh, Izanagi's Burden uh, catalyst up to speed so I can actually use that. Unfortunately, uh, I am very, very bad with uh, snipers and shotguns, so I'm very much looking not so much. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to uh, reviewing the uh, Borealis and the uh, Izanagi's Burden. They're gonna be hell for me. I don't know why he used this uh, thingy there. It's super. Oop. Is there some... Yeah, how did the heavy ammo get there? Interesting. Yes, another one. And another one. You'll see in a second what I mean with uh, the ultimate trash killer here. If uh, my teammates allow me. Bye-bye. If this door is gonna open. And... Bye. Ooh, my aim went uh, suddenly off there. Don't know what happened there. Let's see. Oh, I only got one perk of explosive light. Oh, I died. That's what be why. Alright, next area. Gonna be a lot of ads. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I would say that this SMG is practically a better 600 round per minute assault rifle with a slightly less range. It has about the same damage, but of course better rate of fire, and then a little bit less range, but it's quite decent, it will suffice in most occasions, so... Plus, I mean, it looks cool. It's a tax mechanical weapon. All tax mechanical weapons look cool, in my opinion. Well, at least this far. I think we only have had to chaperone in this weapon, so hopefully we get a new tax mechanical weapon in the near future. Part of me wishes that we could use, uh mods on this weapon so we can actually get some rampage pack on it, you know? Upgrade the weapon. Get over here. That seems to be the one way that my uh, melee can actually work. <laughs> Sliding into enemies. It always on. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Another guy. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's another like two big guys. Got this guy here. Oh no, and you got Zahn. So, the recoil can be a little bit ridiculous sometimes. It is still an SMG. But it should not be the worst to, uh... be able to interact with, and it shouldn't be the worst to, uh, counteract. But if you do have to, uh... very hardly pull down the tr uh, right thumbstick, or your, uh, mouse. Although, I'm pretty sure I'm, uh... Mouse and keyboard, this weapon does not have a low recoil, so should not have a lot of problems with that. I would actually say that SMGs did, uh, are quite nice these days in uh, PvE, so even if you're not using an exotic like the Huckleberry, use uh, something like a Hero's Burden, can actually be very effective. Now, of course, you do want to have something like Rampage back on your. Uh, or no, just Rampage perk on your other uh, SMGs, but, or Kill Clip. Will both do very nicely. Let's see. Four explosive light. It is heavyweight. I just got through his legs. And bye bye. And there we go. So yeah, Huckleberry. I actually think is a very nice weapon. I do not think that this gameplay was actually quite sufficient in showing how well it can do. If you're going against something like um, Hive and you're going against a low throw, you'll be mowing through them. You'll easily get rid of all of them without nice spending job. a single bullet. Even if you do not have the callus, I would say. Uh, yeah. Uh, Huckberry, um, in PvE, it is a gold tier trash killer. I will give it a 9 out of 10. Let me know what you think of my rating up in the poll above. And I will see you in the Crucible. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Going into the Crucible right now. I'm pretty sure the audio would have cut off there because I keep doing that, but it does not matter. So before we go in, I quickly wanted to show you the build that I'm going to be using. I decided to go for a bit of a weird build, going to be using Huckleberry and my lovely Hero's Burden. I I love this weapon, it's absolutely one of my best weapons that I use in the Crucible, or at least I have the most fun with. I decided to go for the Peacekeepers. 
going for a rather aggressive build, hopefully gonna pan out. Maybe you can have a bit of a compared and contrast between the two weapons. Between 900 rounds for me, that just a normal SMG. And a exotic 750 rate of fire SMG. And of course with the uh, peacekeepers instantly reloading the magazine when stowed and gives me increased movement speed with SMGs. Hopefully we get a little bit of a shorter range map, let's see. Uh, this map you do. Alright, let's get those zones. So I'd also do, put on the ca uh, not the catalyst, the ornament. Just for the hell of it. Let's see what we can do here. Alright. They all went middle. I'm gonna jump up here. Got him. Not have reloaded. My aim is bad. Alright, one guy went and stayed on C. Unfortunately, on console, I am actually not capable of getting all that much range with this weapon. And that's why we have fire team. I can get a fair bit of range with this weapon, but not the best. So, of course, this is just normal crucible. Let's see if we can get this heavy. Unfortunately, I'm still using my grenade launcher, which will not have the best range. But teammate will have his range. Ah, a little bit of lag there. You should have actually killed me before I killed him. His uh, melee whiff there in the air the first time around. Unfortunately, the uh, enemy seems to be getting uh, squashed here. Got him. And this guy's AFK, so get some uh, rampage pack on him. Keep calling it rampage pack, but not, of course. Actually, run away. Nice, double down. I made a mistake. So I should have actually stayed back there a bit and got my health up, but I did not. Let's see what we can do. The capturing A. Let's see if I can uh, get a nade on it. That are going to be coming for us. Crouch. That's a grenade. Stay out of it. Teammate got... Absolutely screwed. I got a one-shot melee there because of my melee build on this weapon, on this character, which is kind of ridiculous. Let's see what I can do with this SMG. This SMG has quite a bit of range, so I would actually say that this SMG is better. Ah, unfortunately, a narrow tail. If I actually gunned the kill there, I possibly could have uh, killed the other guy by holding down the trigger. We're gonna mercy rule these guys, so I might actually go for a second round of Crucible, as the uh, strike was also rather short. Let's see what we can do here. Let's get him within range. This is about the range that you want to be. And there we got killed by an Aaron Hill. We should have mercyed them by now. This is kind of ridiculous. We definitely should have mercyed them. There we go. Mercy rule. See if we can get one final kill. There we go, one final kill. Ah, he was in the back. I didn't see him run, unless there was still a guy on the uh, middle platform there. Alright, well, he did decently well there. Do not think the uh, Huckleberry did all too well, considering I think I could have done better with other weapons, but we shall see you in another round. Alright, I'll see you in the next round. Alright, here we go, second game. Hopefully, uh, I can get some good gameplay now. If I'm not going to do well on this map, because it, this is actually quite a long range map, I'm just going to blame the build, and not the weapon itself. Alright, flank him. Increase rate of fire, and then my recoil goes all the way off. So, the uh, thought about this build is that I use my Huckleberry, hopefully get the kill with it, and then if I do not get the kill, I can swap over and have a full magazine of what uh, of the hero's burden. Is this actually gonna work? Probably not. Oh, he is using a... Oh, what's that gun called again? I don't even remember. And of course, if I want some extra range, then I can use my hero's burden. To the side. I have to be aggressive, but 
Ooh, my health regen is taking a little while there, eh? Okay, he's behind that thing there. Ah, that's a uh, what, 1v3? Uh, At least I still got a kill. And there's a fourth one around the corner. Now, I didn't know that was gonna happen, of course, because we went and ham in the enemy spawn. But you did see the build there work a little bit, being able to swap weapons instantly, having a full magazine. Alright, you're around here. Jumping up was a stupid ID from you. Okay, that's no good ID to stay there. The 1v4 or 1v3 at the very minimum. Need a bit of range. Can't stay on there. I should have my health regen up where I get to see. Get that guy down. Three. Back that. Got an aid so he can't come for me. It's what weapons. Use this weapon for a second. What weapons again? Keep going. Yes. Oh, the build is working beautifully. There's an enemy. Miller him. Oh, he has a bit of lag. That's, well, probably isn't lag, it's probably just bungee bullshit. Because he should definitely not have killed me. He killed me way after uh, he was dead. But I will take him on the chin. Nope. Not kidding my teammate. Luckily, the uh, peacekeepers allow me to get a quick swap off there. Swapping has quite decent. Get around. Use my super. Ooh, that guy's doing ring around a rosy. This guy's gonna go for C. He's not gonna get it from me though. Probably shouldn't have used the first melee there. It's kinda useless. Oh, still got him. Didn't even see where he was. <laughs> nice. Oh, we're doing actually quite doing doing quite well. That's two good games in a row. Actually, I did do a game in between. Or, uh, it was already a game in progress, which was unfortunate. If we can help teammate here. Got increased rate of fire. Oh! Feels like my uh, often booters there didn't count at the end there. Almost felt like I should have killed him because the increased rate of fire and rampage back times two. But I mean, I got the double kill there, so quite well. This build is doing decent well, especially on this map. I expected this map to do a very bad, <laughs> uh, this uh, build to do very bad on this map. Alright, it's coming for uh, C. Power overwhelming. Got that guy. Teammate got him low. We should have mercy ruled him by now, I would say again. Two very good games in a row. Teammates are really stepping it up this time. Let's see. There might be a bow guy around here, so. Don't want to Get myself killed by uh, not paying attention, you know? Ooh. Nice. Very nice, teammate. Teammate stood in front of my bullets there, but. What weapons? Go for ammo. I don't know how I'm alive. <laughs> there we go. I should have died way, way earlier there. <laughs> I was bobbing and weaving. That's how you do it. Alright. Well, let's not go to A. <laughs> the Fist of Havoc. Mm, I'm not sure where he's going. I think it's the guy to the right there. Right. Guy in the middle here. Go him. Ah, I couldn't get him. I didn't see that that was that guy. I thought he, uh, he jumped up and... There was a warlock, but unfortunately, I had to swap targets there and didn't quite get either, I believe. I think my teammates did clean up. Go through the side. We can help him here. Because my teammate used his uh, ultimate there. He didn't quite get the. Uh, didn't quite go where he had to go. Used it a little bit too early, let's say like that. Ooh! I do not think he should have gone me there, especially with a weapon like that. Uh, I do have lower resilience. But I was already around the corner, I could not see his glint. I could not ask there we go. Finished it off with a rocket launcher. Fight me battle, what is the price? Alright, I 
I think that will do su uh, will suffice on the footage, so Huckleberry. It actually did quite well. In a similar vein to Monte Carlo, if you haven't checked out that episode, go check it out. <laughs> a little bit of uh, self-promotion there. Uh, yeah, in the same vein, it actually does quite a bit of damage, you do have to be a little bit closer. But it is very nice being able to reload your weapon uh, at and kill. And then having increased damage and increased rate of fire if you keep firing. So in PvP, I'm not going to say it's the best, you can definitely do better. But I will give it a 7.5 out of 10. It, it is very serviceable, it will, it will do very well. Now, of course you can, might be able to do better with a different build, if you're not using a dual SMG build, but... Ah well, I was just doing it for fun, just uh, for the gameplay. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to see a specific weapon in the next episode, let me don't, uh, know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, consider subscribing as well for more content just like this. Modern Warfare is just around the corner, I'm going to be doing weapon guides and a let's play on that of course. And I will see you in the next episode.